After years of using some nasty biocide anti-fouling and being tired of having to scrape the hull of our boat at least once a week when we're on anchor, I decided to upgrade our anti-fouling game and replace our old school biocide paint for a silicon based one. For a while, I had the idea to use Hempel Selic 1, which makes the hull so slippery that growth really doesn't form, as opposed to making the bottom so toxic that everything just dies, including your environmental consciousness. I really like the idea of using a more environmentally product, so I figured let's give it a try. When switching from a biocide anti fouling to a silicon based anti fouling, everything that's already on your hull needs to go. Then we need to apply one coat of primer, one coat of tie coat, which helps the silicon bond with the boat, and then two coats of actual silicon based paint. For our 40 foot sailboat, the cost of the paint boiled down to about 230 euros for the primer, 223 for the tie coat, and 284 for two coats of silicon paint. This is a bit more expensive than traditional biocide anti fouling, but the maintenance is relatively easy, with only one coat of silicon paint need to be applied every two years. In terms of the application, there are particular directions to follow when it comes to the temperature, humidity, curing times, and application times that need to be taken into account. This is very important to know about when you are a cruiser because you often end up in hot and humid places and rain is something you don't want to deal with when you apply this paint. I uh, learned that the hard way. All done here. It looks pretty good, I would say. It took about an hour and a half a coat. Now what we have to do is on Monday, we're gonna move the stands here and then we'll repeat the whole process. So, how did it perform? Overall, it has been an absolute game changer. We still experience a bit of growth on occasion, but I can simply wipe it off with a cloth or let it slide right off when we're out sailing. The faster the boat goes, the better the paint works, and gone are the days of scraping the hull for hours with a scraper and getting shrimps in my ears. Yes, that's happened. This video is filmed in August of 2022, and we haven't reapplied any extra coats since the original application in December of 2020. For the first year, we saw no growth, and it's just now, over a year and a half later, that we are starting to experience some growth, like a few barnacles and some hard stuff on there. Now to some downsides and a word of caution if you're thinking about upgrading yourself. The paint, while durable, is prone to areas of chafe like where the snubber line comes down to the anchor on the bow and that's really the only downside. So while the silicon is tough, it is susceptible to scraping and, and things rubbing on it. This year, when we haul out to put another coat on, the first one ever, and all that time our boat was kept in the water and spent quite a lot of time on anchor in the marina. So overall, it performed really well. If you are thinking about switching to silicon-based paint, make sure that you follow the manufacturer's application recommendations when it comes to temperature, humidity, and curing times. I couldn't really do that, and I ended up with some minor peeling on the paint in a few spots, but overall, it's been okay. <laughs> Okay, so one day after I recorded this video, we found out from friends of ours that had also applied this same silicon anti-fouling that they did not respect the application times. What they did is they waited too long between applying the tie coat to the primer coat and all of the paint flaked off. So make sure if you do apply the silicon anti-fouling that you read the manual and you follow the instructions closely. Likewise, I wish I had bought one or two extra cans of the primer. I had followed Hempel's recommendations when I purchased our paint, but this left me with no margin for errors and not enough primer in certain spots. If I were to do it again, I'd buy just a little bit extra. And one last thing to think about is to tell your yard that your boat's bottom is painted with a silicon-based anti-fouling when it's time to haul out and go back in. Because the bottom of your boat is now so slippery, extra precautions need to be taken when it is put into the sinks. But all in all, I love this paint so much that this year I will put the same silicon stuff on the propeller, as that's one thing that has no coating and always requires a lot of work when I dive down. This paint is a 10 out of 10 in my book. No regrets whatsoever, life changed, and I'm excited to see how this performs in the Great Lakes this coming season. I hope that you found this video informative, and if there's any other system on our boat that you would like us to review, please let me know in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to subscribe, but until next time, bye-bye.